Some of the young Sheldon characters get along well, while others, well, not really. You tell me. <laughs> but all of them have amazing chemistry, and it's not only on the screen. What's Ian and Reagan's favorite prank on the set? <laughs> Why was Annie Potts impressed when she first met her young co-star? And who has the most nicknames? Go figure. Real life twins? On the show, Sheldon and Missy are twins, but they couldn't be more different from each other. Yet in real life, Ian Armitage and Reagan Revord are much closer. The young actress once even said that she can't believe they aren't actually related. Really? We are literally exact. We are literally the exact same. They have a lot of common interests, from the games they both like to play to the theater they adore. And of course, they enjoy having fun together. Everything amazing. Everything amazing. Everything amazing. It all makes their bond pretty special and leads to funny nonverbal moments on the set. Like we'll be in the middle of a scene and all of a sudden we just both glance at each other at the exact same moment and just burst out laughing for no reason whatsoever. And here's what else they like to do when the camera's not rolling. Reagan what, and Ian, what are you guys doing right now? Uh, I'm massaging her hand because she was beating my foot. But if you think that Reagan was hurting Ian, you're wrong. I like having my foot beat in the bottom of my foot. When you hit it really hard with like a remote or something, it feels so good. Sounds pretty weird, but we all have strange habits, don't we? Another thing that Ian and Reagan like doing isn't entirely pleasing to the behind the scenes crew. There's a costume lady named Miss Gina, and we love scaring her. Reagan and Ian hide in the corners and jump out at the poor woman. We go this, and she screams like it's the end of the world, like it's a zombie apocalypse. But wait, there's more. The two of them also found something they called a demon doll in a closet. <laughs> we put it in the writer's room, and they came in, and it was really funny, because they screamed so loud, it was really funny. The way Montana looks at Reagan in this interview is so typical older brother, isn't it? Let's talk more about him. A goofy older brother. We're sure it's not surprising to find out that all three of the Cooper kids have loads of fun when the cameras are off. According to the Missy actress, when she met her on-screen brothers for the first time, they started playing together immediately. She says that Ian started tap dancing while Montana gave her piggyback rides. Although Jordan doesn't fully take part in Ian and Reagan's pranks, since the Georgie actor is older, he tries to appear more mature than them. Yeah, it's for sure them two monsters. I, I try not to goof around a lot, but every now and again I might, but... For shame! He wrestles! He <laughs> wrestles with us a lot. Well, Reagan got the last word here, and it looks like Montana is just as goofy as the other two. Isn't it great that these three are so close in real life? It certainly gives the show that extra level of realism because they behave just like real-life siblings. And what about their on-screen parents? Like a second family. In loads of interviews, both the adult and child actors from Young Sheldon say that they're all very close. The pilot, we felt like a family. And Our pretend family subs in as a real family when we're shooting, <laughs> so those dinner scenes are kind of like real dinner scenes. Reagan often says that Zoe Perry and Lance Barber are like her second mom and dad. And Ian never feels pressured to come back for a new season because he's happy to return to his pretend home. Lance backs up his co-stars on this too. He says that all of them got along from day one and got really lucky with the cast. You hear stories of, of awful little children in Hollywood <laughs> and how they can be. <laughs> And it's uh, such a uh, such a wrong cliche. Did you know that Lance is good friends with his on-screen wife? They're so comfortable with each other that they even pull each other's legs from time to time. This one right here was a nightmare to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't get along at all. And to this day. Well, that's a wholesome working relationship. And here's another reason why Lance and Zoe are great parents to their on-screen kids. They teach them a lot of things such as how to dial a number on an 80s phone. Ian didn't understand what a dial tone right. was. What? That he was dialing first. And then picking up the And then the picking phone. Picking up the phone. Or how to use a Walkman. Let's just say that scene took a while. Yeah. A while. Well, they certainly did a good job teaching them everything. 
And what about the all-beloved Mima, the world's greatest grandma? Indeed, that's a title this woman deserves off the screen too. After all, the kids are totally in love with her and she adores them right back. And they're in my lap and all over me, kissing me, hugging me, telling me they love me all day long. And I get paid for that. <laughs> She's one lucky lady. And if you want to see just how much the child actors love Annie Potts, check out this cute clip. Aren't they, darling? Aww. Oh, yes, they are. In interviews, Annie's talked quite a lot about her real-life bond with Ian. Did you know, for example, that they even get their flu shots together? The actors once shared that their chemistry was instant. And you will never guess what Ian did when he met Annie for the first time. I came into the room, and he stood up and started singing to me the song that he had seen me sing when he was four. Oh, wow. wow. That's so thoughtful, isn't it? And here's what Annie says about working with Ian. I was just so happy to have a little boy in my life again and to play with. He's very fun to act with because he's quite a good actor. We're pretty sure that the young man also feels lucky to work with her. After all, she's the star of an all-beloved children's movie. We mean Toy Story, of course, where she voiced one of the characters. Have I done Bo Peep for you? You have. I think you have before, a couple of times. Come on, Woody. Oh, oh my God. My son would be freaking out right That's now. So From this clip alone, we can guess that the kid actors aren't the only ones fooling around. Because the adults are goofballs, too. We work with children, so we have to, we have to be very good models so of professional behavior. Uh, so I'll turn an example. There's, that's a total lie. Thank you. <laughs> and part of their fun is giving nicknames to their co-stars. Let's talk about that more. Who has the best nickname? You probably have no idea how Annie Potts refers to the kids behind the scenes. I call them the ferrets. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when we go on a new set or something, it's all very interesting for them. So <laughs> they're in all the drawers and all the boxes. Truly, nothing can compete with that nickname. Unless there's a guy who has a few of them. You have a lot of nicknames on set. You're Dad, you're George, yeah. you're Lancelot. I just heard Sir Lancelot. That's an easy one, considering that the actor's real name is Lance. And he actually doesn't mind going by all those different titles. You know, a man with many names is many <laughs> times loved, I believe, is a proverb. By the way, here's a fun fact about Lance. It turns out that, on the set, he likes making what they call George faces. And we've even named them. Do George face number two with a little hint of number 11. Those are my favorite to play. It's too bad he didn't show this combo because we'd like to see it. And now, here's a little bonus for you. As we'll talk about an actor who doesn't actually star in the series, the ultimate teacher. It all started with the Big Bang. And before young Sheldon, we got to know the adult Dr. Cooper. Jim Parsons was the one who came up with the idea to make the prequel series. He serves as one of the executive producers on the show and does the voiceovers. What's more, the actor's job since day one has been to teach Ian everything about the character he played for 12 years. But here's a fun fact. When Ian got the role, Jim was nervous about meeting him. I didn't want to distract him. He didn't know what the hell I was, so what did he care? <laughs> After all, Ian had never seen a single episode of The Big Bang. The original Sheldon actor shared that he was unexpectedly moved when he watched Ian's audition tape. Kind of jaw-dropping. He is such a, a man-child. He's like, he thinks like a man, but then he's just a kid. Jim bonded with the young actor right from the beginning. And he did a great job helping Ian get into those massive shoes without even watching The Big Bang Theory. Well, he's taught me a lot about Sheldon, a lot about how to play Sheldon and uh, talking about how his mind works. Whose bond surprised you the most? Share in the comments below. If you want to learn more about the young Sheldon actors, check out our video on their lifestyles IRL. See you later. <laughs>